So hi there, this is day 16 in the Inktober drawing challenge and today I've got to draw a skull with maggots and worms within it. So yeah, let's get drawing on that. <laughs> yeah, that was a Halloween laugh. Okay, cheers now. So I want to draw the initial shape, as always. It's like a little round shape on the head. Bit of a chrome dome, you know. Um, but I don't know what to do with the top of the head. Maybe um, completely open like it's been uh, chopped off. There's probably cracks here and there. And things and there's probably worms hanging out there's maggots and stuff all sorts that we'll finalize later on best to draw the um, skull uh, framework with such as the eye sockets and things and their cheekbones nose socket things like that So I'm hoping that this is a better drawing than yesterday's um, sort of haunted house, you know, drawing which definitely needs improving upon. Um, it's great to do this sort of uh, drawing and inking sort of series, and I can sort of realise what I need to improve upon. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit because you can hardly see that so i've zoomed in slightly you can see um yes as i was saying the inktober series it's sort of highlighted what i need to improve upon um and quite obviously um with that halloween like haunted house type thing that i drew yesterday it's apparent that I need to really look at perspective and things and try and improve upon that. Um, I've got a few books on that, so I'm going to uh, try and improve upon that area because that can improve a lot of my drawings, really. Not just uh, drawing buildings and things like that, so that's what I'm going to look at. Um, I think, I don't know how the eyes, they could be like worms and maggots and all sorts of shit coming out of his eyes so it's always worth exploring every orifice <laughs> if that sounds uh, okay <laughs> I don't know I don't think it does does it but we'll, we'll just run with it um, yeah so I think there's going to be loads of worms and maggots falling out of its mouth as well. So just quickly draw sketches here and there, like come back to it. Draw the teeth. And the bottom jaw. Always nice to try and work out these designs I'm sort of a veteran at drawing these skulls now um, I've drawn them that many times I can improve upon them and yeah his head has been like cracked open or something there's loads of cracks so it's best to draw that a few worms like spilling over 
link them a bit better. So I'm just gonna get a Sharpie marker pen and try and go for the main thick lines that I need. because a lot of maggots are going to be spilling out of its eye sockets and out of its nose socket as well so that would be pretty cool to try and draw try and work out the, the teeth also and bottom jaw so yeah, these thicker lines. I mean, if I draw, you know, a lot over the sort of lines with these black markers, I can go off them with like white pens if I wanted to. Um, just come back to it. Just trying to work out the overall shape of things quick ink lines could be a brain in there but I think it's best to do full of maggots and other stuff um, maybe just sort of start off some lines and then I can come back to it later on with thinner lines and join them all up and things like that just gives a, a general idea what I want to try and achieve with this quick ink sketch so I guess the challenge will come if I do um, do this um, where I do like next month um, I'll start to decide whether I'm going to do it um, so like do like proper almost you know finished polished illustrations of these um, ideas I suppose it'll be a good thing to do actually um, but we'll see I've had no feedback on it so far so um, I don't know if it's something that people want to see me do or something um, I just don't know <laughs> I'm only trying to like uh, come up with ideas here and there for this um, sort of series. I think I'm going to leave that with the thick marker pen. I've got an 08 Unipin marker. Do some thin lines. Try and separate some things off and add more details. in the skull maybe go here and there so certainly I've come a long way drawing these skulls um, it's it's like a process that has become uh, a little bit better than it used to be. Still not perfect in some ways, but still trying to come up with ideas based on the skulls that I like to draw. in there. I 
think it's best if I just add lots of shadow just on these nose socket areas where are the tops of these eye sockets and a lot of this at the sort of base of the eyes there's a lot of maggots and worms like falling out Good thing to do. I'm just sketching, so I just want to draw and sketch quite quickly, really. Be interesting uh, to see, like maybe if, like finished drawings based on um, these ideas, and you know more polished versions of these ideas and things like that. Um, I'm definitely more at home drawing this type of stuff, but I do want to challenge myself a lot more. That's why. I've sort of done this challenge and particularly the last few of these challenges um, I've left them really open ended really I think one of them is uh, trying to draw like a zombie apocalypse or something and that's quite general really it's um, trying to include a theme which could represent one zombie or a couple of zombies I don't know in a composition or something that it's just trying to work that out and trying to force myself to work on ideas that um, challenge myself and I suppose next year I'll come up with something different because you know I think it's good to challenge yourself as an artist um, and I'll talk more about in the uh, this in the vlog based on what I learned at um, Hull Horror Fest I learned quite a bit actually to be honest even though I didn't do a lot there but I'll tell you more about that and so like um, maybe a lot of slime and shit here um, mixed with worms and other stuff maggots I'm keeping it pretty sketchy at the moment because that's the idea now let's go on the top of the head and try and keep all this I'll just try and draw a couple of little maggots here just to show you that they're the maggots really For the most part, they're all they're all teeming with maggots and worms within the skull, and that's what all these quick lines represent. The worm there, quick worms. I've said this before, like quick drawings really represent the energy um, that you're trying to achieve. So I recommend you doing really quick drawings often, you know, to work out um, certain drawings that you want to maybe expand upon and do a lot of detailed work. Um, See, you can see this drawing coming together slowly, but it's it's always ever going to be just a quick ink drawing. So I'm just adding 
some shadow in between these bits here so yeah just let me know if you want to see this um, see me do this um, sort of where I do like proper drawings based on all these drawings I've done in Inktober like uh, well thought out illustrations and things like that because it is best to challenge yourself as an artist you've got you just got to do these things let me draw some a couple of maggots falling off here and there truth is um, to be honest I don't really want to be drawing all this type of stuff all the time I'd like to be doing other stuff as well I see other artists do really cool um, sort of artworks that are horror based all the time um, even though I, I like drawing this type of stuff most of the time I think it's best if I challenge myself and try and draw some other stuff as well I think that'll help me grow more as an artist and you know that's what I recommend anyone else do really say if you're gonna be an illustrator try and draw many different styles if you can or many different things then you'll have more a chance of making money you know sort of thing or uh, getting more work because people will be able to see that you're more more of a diverse sort of artist and you can draw the stuff but for me I, I really like drawing horror stuff so it's hard to shake that really but as you can probably tell with uh, the amount of stuff that I draw on this channel but <laughs> it's just the way it is Little scribbles here and there. Yeah, so as a quick sketch, that is um, exactly what I, what I wanted to achieve with that a skull with maggots and things like that. I want to come back to this and try and redraw it more detailed and more precise, really. So, yeah, that's a quick sketch of the skull with maggots and worms. Um, that's about as far as I'd like to go with a quick sketch. Um, I notice these quick Inktober sketches are becoming fairly quick in the sort of execution, but I think it's the way to get them done. And if I want to really examine each day uh, next month and try and uh, redraw these as proper illustrations, I think these quick sketches are the way to go to try and um emphasize the fact that these will be proper illustrations and the quick sketches help to you know guide me in that respect so yeah i think that'll do it uh, for now um i'm gonna leave that there i'm just gonna say thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers now